I've known Dan probably 12 years at this point. I actually used to DJ at the first uh, club he opened when he moved to Raleigh. The sound system in there was nothing fancy. And uh, he opened up at second place. I talked to him more you know, about doing the sound system at the, at the new place. And I think it kind of opened his eyes to, you know, that there's a better way, there's a better mousetrap, so to speak. He wanted to basically challenge the norm. And so Alchemy, when he went in there with that, that started the thing of going, okay, I have something here. And with him, at the end of the day, Dan's all about making uh, a greater return on his investment, letting them have a great time. Then he started retrofitting all of his clubs, which ultimately now I think there's, I mean, there's multiple venues down um, Glenwood Avenue. I conceptualize, design, create, build, own, and operate all of my places. And I can tell you I love them all equally but differently. I think he went to Coachella and, uh, you know, he went to the festival and said, man, I could do something like this back, you know, back home. And uh, he set out looking for a farm. And uh, I think he was working with the realtor and, and they didn't find him a farm. Instead, they found him this racetrack. And you know, the benefit here is you've got all the infrastructure, you got the water, the sewer, the electricity. And as a bonus, you know, you've got this awesome historic track that they're working to revitalize and bring racing back. His main goal out here is also to be able to, to throw music festivals. Um, and so we brought a variety of different uh, speakers out for demo and landed on the J8s and 16 of the BC subs and various other, you know, fills and monitors and things like that. Races are just festivals with cars going in a circle. And when you understand that, you understand what we're actually doing here, which is just throwing the party in every and any way, whether it be races, whether it be events, whether it be musical events, whatever draws the people and, and allows them to have a good time. What we're doing with this demo day, as it were, it's ear time, <laughs> where they go, oh my gosh, I never knew it sounded that good. You make them believers real quick. We really hope that today is a opportunity for people to be able to experience daily in a real world situation. Being able to debut the new uh, bad boy, uh, the J8. We've, we've had lots of rumblings, the whole internet's blowing up going, I want to hear this, I want to see this. The J8 was developed to be pretty much equal to two J7s. Um, this is the introduction or the release of the, of the J8. I think a lot of people are going to be impressed. Uh, I flew out here to hear the J8, obviously, because that's the biggest reveal, and they're completely amazing. The, the, the J8s definitely step it up a notch in terms of volume. You know, we, you, you could definitely get a lot more out of those toolboxes. The whole demo out there with the J8s and, and all the subs was mind-blowing. You know, it's 600 feet away when we went to the outside of the track, outside wall out there. Pretty crazy. Yeah, that was that was impressive. It's hard to see anybody else being able to compete at the level that what Danley has offered here today. You know, Rockingham historically has been very much known for horsepower, for incredible experiences, for uh, you know, NASCAR has had all kinds of greats here and names that you would recognize. And we want to add to that history by saying, hey, this is when this beautiful thing called the J8 was debuted. I actually told Dan when we were standing right out there. I said, Dan, um, you can't stand in front of the tree. When we bring it up to full tilt, seriously, you can't. He's like, oh, you're kidding me. And I was like, no, I'm not kidding. When when we lit the thing up the first time, he just puts his head down and turns around and looks at us and is just like, I mean, it's just euphoria. You know, at this point, I think he's got nine or 10 clubs and every single one of them has Danley in it. Once we had it, we realized the sound is far superior than anything else and kept going with it. And that's the only thing I use.